A wild storm system all the way from the early parts of this work week. It's impacted our weather and it's brought us not one but two rounds of very heavy snow, some icing. Now a lot of wind to go with it. Dangerous travel throughout the state of North Dakota. Blizzard warnings once you get out of the Red River Valley with visibility issues. You can see this snow flying horizontally through the lights here and it's not particularly heavy, but what we are starting to see is that snow on the ground icing up and this stuff is blowing around. So we're going to start seeing some blowing, some drifting and take a look at what we have going on right now as we head through your first alert weather days all the way through the end of the week. Friday impacts of this system will will continue to fly flakes through your close of your work week. Next week, we're starting to eyeball some Arctic air that works its way down. I'm going to start with the lead. This is how much more snow on top of what you have now. So these have adjusted throughout the evening because we've seen a lot of snow fall. Right now, I'm expecting additional snow in the Fargo-Moorhead area out to Lakes Country. We're going to have some pockets here where these bands set up. We've been talking about this for the last couple of nights. These can be hard to predict exactly where they set up, but in those bands, we'll see closer to three inches. The rest of us up to about an inch where you see the blue colors. That includes Grand Forks, Steep River Falls, Red Lake Falls, all the way through the Highway 200 corridor here, Griggs, Steel, Trail County. And as you go into the central part of uh, North Dakota, the James River Valley and Devil's Lake Basin. We're going to see pockets of two to seven inches still. Those are where the heavier bands and the most persistent snow bands will be. Look at the purple up there, still nine inches of snow for our neighbors in Manitoba. And look at this, the Sisseton Hills has a big old burp down there. That elevated terrain likes to squeeze out a few extra flakes, especially for you. Gusty winds continuing overnight, upwards of 45 miles per hour. Temperatures will slip. Notice this band. Our model has it setting up here. It could be you know, 20, 30 miles either side, maybe as much as 50 miles, depending on how things go, but seems to fit the radar scene that we're showing right now. This band out here sets up right from our Towner County area, Cavalier County area, right down into Stutzman County. So the Devil's Lake Basin, James River Valley seeing snow. Additional snow where we had closer to <laughs> You know, one to two feet of snow in southeast North Dakota. This continues through the overnight 730 in the morning. Still flakes flying, still wind blowing. Temperatures will be as warm as they're going to be all day first thing in the morning. So falling temperatures all day into the teens. Winds gusting over 40 miles per hour and a couple of bands of flakes. Now these will continue to be persistent in areas. So we'll have passing snow showers in places, but these bands will continue to produce in the areas where they set up shop. The wind continues to blow. This storm system starts to wind down just a pinch as we head toward the evening hours. Expect difficult travel, expect dangerous travel conditions in open country. Something here is kind of neat and tricky to look at. I call it my snow band locator. This is where the radar has indicated the heaviest snow over the last 24 hours down here near Ellendale, a nice pocket in the Sisseton Hills, right here in the central Red River Valley and the Devil's Lake Basin. Radars have a hard time picking up how much snow fell in between the radar zones. We've talked about that as being no man's land with radar coverage in our area. Big storms still impacting most of the northern half of the United States. Some heavy snow showers through upstate New York. Now tonight, here's your conditions. Radar batch, one band setting up from Grand Forks to Fargo. Another band here from that Nelson County area all the way into the James River Valley and the heavy band now Towner County wrapping back at down into Dickey and Lamore counties here for you folks along that Highway 13 and Highway 11 corridor. Hawley and points north, Ada, Crookston, Heavy snow has fallen in round one and now round two. We're going to add a little more insult to injury on top of the six to seven inches of snow that fell today and eight inches reported in other areas. And this is where things will just be very persistent, not only tonight, but throughout the day tomorrow. Visibility is ridiculously low in spots uh, where we can measure it at airports. We have a quarter mile there in Oaks, but you get in open country with those 45 mile per hour winds and it's got to be close to 100 yards or near zero. All right. Temperatures now falling below freezing and it's in the teens down in the James River Valley. That means this is that powdery snow, the kind that blows, the kind that drifts, and we're going to deal with that all day tomorrow. In Fargo, starting out hot, 22, ending not teens with wind chills. Gusty winds across the valley all day long, blowing snow, but the snow decreases as we head beyond the evening drive. Then we just settle in for some cold. Not too bad this weekend, but next week cold enough for us to slap on some more first alert weather days. Why? Because an Arctic air mass arrives. It's the coldest of the season. Air temperatures 20 to 30 below. Wind chills approaching 50 below. We'll be paying attention to that and having more uh, 